Hold up and everybody they are killed. It wasn't a Sunday picnic, whatever it was. Let's get him in to San Luis. Get that coach. On the running wild through Gaviota Pass. Who are you? Bill Miller, San Louis agent for Harbor Express. Where's my driver and guard? How should I know? Where's the express box? Search me. What did you do with it? Look, Miller, my friend and I went through a heap of trouble to do you a favor. If this is the way you say thanks, you can. What can I do for you? I'd like to fill my cartridge drop, please. Mm -hmm. A beautiful day, is it not, Nita? Like the wonderful day when I first meet you. Oh, and do you remember that moonlit night in Calabasas and El Toro? What girl could ever forget El Toro? <laughs> I see you a moment ago, I said to myself, El Toro, you're a very lucky man. Again, you have the pleasure of looking into the beautiful eyes of Juanita Maria Isidora Perez. Senor, you make the big mistake. I never see you before in my life. Well, just now you were saying to me... Mario, please. I am very busy, Senor, please. But surely not too busy to look into the eyes of the man you kiss in the moonlight. I am the only man she kiss. Senor, please go away. Go away? Tonto, son of a donkey? Keep it clean, strangers. Tell us before the law comes! You're sure running through the form. We haven't been in town ten minutes and... Hey, let's see that eye. Why do me? Might be serious if you don't have it taken care of. Come on. And where to, amigo? Father Francisco at the mission. I reckon he's still running the dispensary. Well, fine driver. Who was it this time? El Cougar. Again? The mountain lion, his partner called him. It was El Cougar, all right. He wore the same bandana over his face that he did before. So you still don't know what he looked like? Nope. Neither him nor his partner. Have you seen anything of the coach and the team? Yeah, a couple of men just drove it in. Well, I was hoping that maybe it saved the express box. But now that I know it's gone, I gotta break the bad news to a customer. How's that El Toro? Hurt you? Well, I hardly don't feel it at all. Ah, the laudanum is taking effect. But we must protect that bruise while it heals. Funny, no? <laughs> Don't worry, El Toro. You still have one eye to wink at the senoritas. How much do you owe your father? Well, there is no charge, Senor Carson. But if you'll care to make a donation to the poor box. Gladly. Gracias, my son. A thousand pardons, Padre. My wife, she's feeling very weak. I know, Pancho, I know. But there is nothing I can do until the quinine gets here. I tell her, be patient. They both have the malaria. A new epidemic has broken out, the worst in all my experience. Dozens of families are down with it. We have had some deaths already. 
These young people are in the first stage. They have a good chance for recovery if only the quinine... Oh, Senor Miller, come in. But where is my quinine? Did it not come from the harbor? No, Padre. The stage has been robbed again. El Cougar and his partner stole your quinine along with the express box. Que malo. Padre. Did he say no quinina? None today, Pancho. Perhaps there will be quinine tomorrow. Now, you must go home now, Maria. And please, say nothing to the neighbors. Try to rest. Be sure to boil your drinking water and come back in the morning. Si, sí, Padre. Muy bueno. Vayan con Dios. Pobrecitos. Without the quinine, they will die. And many others. Can't you get some more? The malaria does not wait, senor. It will take weeks to send to Peru again. Look, Father, I can ride overland to Santa Fe and try at Brant's Ford. They have quinine? They should have. It's the largest trading post between here and the Mississippi. I could buy what you need and be back within ten days. Ah, uh, but there is no more money. The express company lost your medicine. You had the insurance money coming. I can get that and, and buy a new batch. Very accommodating of you, stranger. But there is no insurance. Why not? Since El Cougar's been operating, the stage line can't get a penny's worth. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on this El Cougar. Robin the sea. Que maldito. He should be strung up on sight. What are you doing to catch him? Have you offered a reward? For a man nobody can identify? Your garden driver should be able to give you a pretty good description. Robbed in broad daylight, weren't they? We've got three different descriptions of El Cougar. They never wear the same outfit. That's how they got the law stopped. Yes, our brave officers have made every attempt. And failed. I see it's about time the people of San Luis got busy and did something about it themselves. You can count on our help. I may do that. When do you men begin to ride the roads again, senor? I'll let you know. I'm sorry about your quinine, Father Francisco. I'll do everything I can to get it back. Tonight I shall ask the good Lord to forgive me. You tell us what to do, Padre. Nothing can help my people now. Nothing but a miracle. Maybe you'll have that miracle after all, Father. Come on, let's go to work, Toro. Adios, Father. And keep your chin up. Where's the treasure? Where's the gold? Addressed to Father Francisco, Mission San Luis Obispo, California, from La Botica del Rey, Lima, Peru. Maybe it is a gold chalice, or money for a new chapel. <laughs> Not that El Cuga would rob the church, you understand. If you had any religion, you wouldn't be working with me. You said a great treasure would be in the coach. That's the way I heard it through the agent's window. Something's wrong, and maybe it's you. Where's that other express box? There was no other box. If you lie to me, I'll slit your throat. There was no other, I swear it. And somebody's put something over on us. Here. Take this and get rid of it. But it might be of great value. What for? I tell you, dump it in the ocean. But, amigo, we do not even know what these powder is good for. It's good for evidence against us if we're caught with it. Its only value is to hang us. Get rid of it. You're the boss. Toro, this is the toughest nut we've ever had to crack. In the past, we captured a lot of bandidos. We recovered the loot from many robbers. Why should we fail now? Kind of, we're trying to make contact with a man we can't even identify. But all that is very simple. Tomorrow we ride the stagecoach after advertising our wealth. Which we have none of. And then El Cougar holds up the stagecoach with us on it, and there we are. Yes, right under his guns. Uh, I also don't like Amigo. No, we can't possibly contact El Cougar. So the only solution is to have him come to us. How we do that?
Put yourself in his place. Suppose you had a monopoly on highway robbery. All of a sudden, two strangers started operating in your territory. I would not like that. I would go to them and say, Senores, find yourself another road. I've already started operating on this highway. So instead of riding the coach tomorrow, we'll be waiting for it. And when it comes up from Gavi over the harbor, we'll say... Reach for the clouds, boys. Don't move or nobody will get hurt. You're gone, senor. Mil gracias. Now, give me the express box. Can't be done, mister. No man is allowed to say that to El... to El Cougar. Now throw down the box. All right, here she comes. Chain to the coach. Mira, look, amigo. What we do now? Stop your guns. You're covered, both of you. Hold on your mask. Well, well, if it ain't the good, kind friend of Father Francesco. Meet the vigilante committee. Now walk your horse over toward that big tree yonder. Toss up a couple of ropes, boys. Senor, before you make the bad mistake, you're hanging the wrong man. I am not El Cougar. I heard him claim to be, and so did the rest of these men. Well, that was only in the hopes of getting to meet the real El Cougar, as my friend will verify. Surely you will accept the word of Kit Carson, the personal friend of General Fremont. So, you're Kit Carson? That's right. Then I am General Fremont, and I don't know you. Why do you say that? Because I suspected you all along. Pretty smart cover-up to bring in the stage you'd already robbed. And then when you found your hall turned out to be nothing but quinine, you moved in on Father Francisco. Tried to get him to trust you with the insurance money, so you'd cash in after all. A man can sure twist things when he's as suspicious as you are. And as angry. The loss of that quinine's gonna cost a lot of people their lives. And using your own words, a man who'd do that ought to be strung up. Hans Bauer. Yes, Miller. When we cut the cards for the honors of the actual execution, you held the ace. Do your duty. That I shall. You should be glad to have my expert service. Yeah, she seemed to be an old hand at it. Practice makes perfect. Never a complaint from the customer yet. Well, you can enter one now. Senor, I appeal to you. I swear to you, I am El Toro, for whom Kit Carson will vouch. I am not, nor have I ever been El Cougar the Bandit. I know better. Here we go. In just a minute. Now for the last time. Where's that quinine you stole this morning? I told you before, we didn't steal it and we don't know where it is. Hold everything, men. Smart move, senor. You're covered both ways. your horses. Tie them up, men. Mil gracias, senor Cougar. I am not El Cougar. I'm only his segundo. You may call me El Gato. Well, then, gracias to El Gato the Cat from El Toro the Bull. And who is your compañero? Kit Carson, the scout. Not the great, not the famous Kit Carson. What's left of me? About to be lynched by the vigilantes? This happened because we were trying to get in touch with your boss, El Cougar. We'll see him soon enough. What are you going to do with us? This time we only tie you up and leave you. Next time you will swing from your own ropes. You'll swing first if you don't turn in that loot you got this morning. Where is it? A lawyer once told me, senor, never to answer that kind of question. Adelante! Well, 
bring you into the treasure, huh? Not only your share, Carida, but all the loot. What is this? You make the big joke? Yes, Bernard, I risk my life and that is all I get. Only a white powder. What is it good for? Maybe to eat. Hmm? Maybe no, you try it first. It's certainly not good to eat. But what other use can there be? For the face, stupido. Look. Caramba, it is poison. We get rid of it pronto. No, it may be of great value. What for? I write to Monterey. I find out. Perhaps I sell it for gold. Huh? Nita, see who's coming. Ramon, and he brings Senor Carson and El Toro. I think I know what they want. Everything you tell me may be true, but I warn you, El Cougar is a very suspicious man. Just give me two minutes alone with him and I'll take care of that. It's all right, Manuel. They do not have guns. Bueno, let them in. Buenos dias, senorita Perez. I still do not know you. No? Ah, but of course not. But I think your amigo, he remembers me. I see you have not forgotten me either. Why do you bring these hombres here? We came to have a friendly talk with the El Cougar. I think you tell them too much about me. No, amigo. They want to enter our profession. How do you know? They were robbing another stage from the harbor this morning when they were caught by the vigilantes. They would have hung us, too, if you hadn't stepped in. You should have let them hang. Por qué? They can be useful to you. They are both good men. Around me, I want only bad men. But they are good bad men. Why don't you speak to Senor Carson alone? You have a gun and I haven't. What are you afraid of? Not of any man. Leave us. But you, Ramon, stay close by. Now, what do you want? The package you get from the express box, the quinine. Quinine? Yes, it's the only cure for the malaria. Father Francisco sent all the way to Peru for it. He's got to have it to save the lives of his people. Senor, I know nothing of any quinine. But suppose I were to find out, what would Father Francisco pay? He can't pay anything. He spent all the money he had to buy it. In that case, we are wasting time. But let's not waste the lives of helpless people. You can save the El Cougar, and the people will bless you for it. Look, senor, you are asking me to turn over evidence which can hang me. You expect me to be so stupid and for no money? Now about taking you and your friend into my band, that is something else. Join your gang. What do you take me for, a low-down skunk like you? For that, I kill you. It's here, the quinina is here. How do you know? I kiss her on the cheek. I taste the quinina. Fine, sweetheart, you pick for yourself. Querido, I only tried to find out the intentions of this El Toro. Liar! She... Senora, save me from the slucko and I'll help you! Save me there, Senora! Save me! Senora! 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 Look at Senora Carson! How about some cheese for El Toro? Senor, get that devil! You are. Uh, you'll be all right. Now, where's the quinine? What, Kinina? Don't give me that. You know what I'm talking about. Need to forget since Manuel hit me. Yeah, but a little money will jog your memory, huh? Senor is very smart. And so's the Toro. 
man sees many things when he fights on the floor. This is it. Guinness! John Smith, Locksmith, and Hangman, another member of the club. Let's get rid of him, come on. Get rid of that quinine. Welcome, Senor Bauer. Carson. Yeah, the man you were going to hang. The quinine tower. Never mind, we've got the stuff. Let's ride. We can still cut them off. Take my advice, you can catch the outlaws. here. Now we get rid of the evidence. Why did he leave it here? For a trap. Right you are. There you are, Pancho. Enough for you and Maria. Take the powders as I told you and come back in the morning. Gracias, Padre. Gracias. They will be all right now, thanks to you and your miracle. The miracle is us, Padre, that we come through this alive. No more miracles for me. Next time I'll stick to a good everyday gunfight. Which reminds me, Toro, we better hit the trail. Adios, Father Francisco. My thanks and my blessings go with you. <laughs> <laughs> 